there, welcome to Elm Colors, I'm Erica. On today's Weekend Whip, I'm going to be working on a page from World of Fairies. I started this page last weekend with my lovely friend Corey when we were live streaming on her channel. If you missed the live, you can go catch the replay over on Corey's channel. Um, I really like the way that this one's going and I was excited to do another one in this book. And this is what I've gotten done so far pretty much all I got done on stream. I did not continue working on it. Um, not only not to make Corey feel bad, <laughs> which we joked around a little bit about, but because I was working on a whole bunch of other ones and I've finished other pages this week. So, um, yeah, let me, I'm going to take a sip of my tea here. Got an extra little shot of creamer in there. Um, I'm loving <laughs> that creamer. It's gonna, my tea's gonna end up being more cough or more creamer than tea here soon. Okay, uh, I'm gonna continue working on her hair. So I need to grab my colors and then we will get started. All right, so I am using Starjoy Gold pencils um, to do this. And then I also have used some Distress, nope, some what am I trying to say? Chalk pastel on the background there. Um, and so I'm going to put something here so my hand doesn't turn blue like it did last week. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to try to get some of this hair done. And I'm just trying to make her hair kind of like a nice dark like a black, but with a little bit of blue highlight and then some yellow kind of reflected in there as well. So, hopefully it turns out like I'm imagining it. Uh, hi, everybody. <laughs> I hope that you are having a great weekend so far. It is Friday uh, afternoon for me, and I am... I've already got my yellows and blues kind of where I want them on here. Um, yeah, I've just, I've had a, a nice um, relaxing day so far. I was over uh, helping my mom out a little bit today. Um, thank you to everybody who sent well wishes. She's doing wonderfully. Um, recovering, uh, it, recovery is going smoothly so far, which we were happy about. Um, she's doing really good actually she's very like surprised the the PT people that have been coming to help her out um, they've all been like yeah, I can't believe you've already it's only been well now it's been like almost two weeks so um, but they're, they're pretty surprised with her progress so far so I think that's good news for her um, we have not a ton to do this weekend. My husband is super excited because our local women's soccer team uh, is in the championship game. So um, my husband is going to go watch that tomorrow evening. I'm guessing he's going with my son. I'm assuming that's what's happening because I have not been told that I have to go. <laughs> Not that I wouldn't want to go, because I, I would love to go and cheer him on, but um, my, I, 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 I like soccer. It's not as much of a passion uh, as my husband <laughs> has for it. So, um, yeah, like I enjoy going to the games and stuff, but they're not like super... I would, I would rather stay home in color. <laughs> I know that sounds terrible, but that is what I would rather do. Um, my brother is going to come over this evening and we're going to play some games. I might play some. We'll see how that goes. I might be too like invested in the coloring aspect of my evening by then. I have a few more uh, whips that I want to try to finish up. Uh, I, 
So I was all about this month, I was gonna finish all of those whips that I started last month and that did not happen. Like it's just not, it's not gonna happen. Um, so I've got all of these whips that I started last month and they're just gonna sit there because I don't wanna do them right now. Because everything else that I'm um, seeing that I wanna do is all new stuff. All right, let me see what's going on around here. So I know that this part here is gonna be dark. A couple little leaves and this little horn thing. That'll be good. Okay. Sometimes with these um, full body illustrations, the things get so tiny. So it's hard to, it's hard to figure out what's what. Um, I did notice with these Star Joy Gold that the black is is a little warm. It's on the warm side. So what I like to do when that happens is take a nice dark blue or a, a, like a really dark purple and add that over top and it really makes it like a nice deep black color. Um, and then it's beneficial for me because I'm having like blue highlights in, here, in her hair this time, so. Yeah, that works, that works. Um, yeah, what else is going on? In channel news, I did release a haul video this week. So if you are interested in that, you can check it out. I got some really cute things, um, none of which I have gotten into yet. <laughs> Even after filming the haul video, I'm still, still not uh, open to anything really. Uh, I want to get into a couple of those books. Some of those books I'm very excited about and the color pencils. I've been seeing a lot of people recently just um, really loving the color pencils. So I'm kind of, and I just bought those just because they were on sale. Like I didn't know that anybody was, that people were kind of into them right now. So um, I'm hoping that I like them as much as other people seem to. Uh, I got a set of 72 that were, they came with a case and they were on clearance, no, on sale uh, during Amazon Prime days. So that was uh, fortuitous. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm hoping, hoping that I like him as much as uh, some of the other people I've seen. And then, um, I have played a little bit with my, I've got, I got a 24 set of the Albrecht drawer. Oh, that's too hard for me to say. Albrecht, Albrecht Durer. <laughs> Good Lord. Um, I got a 24 set of those pencils. So that'll, that'll be fun to, to play with those. I, I, I broke them out a little bit, but I haven't used them a ton yet. So I'm excited to see how those are as well. I know I I feel like they're going to be probably a they're going to start being like a staple in my supplies. I know that um uh Shell's coloring journey Shelly uses them to perfection um which is why I ended up <laughs> getting them. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how that goes. What else did I get? Not too, not too many supplies. Not a ton of stuff. Yeah, I didn't do, I didn't do too terribly bad. I ha I have started the other <laughs> Amazon video, Amazon paper video, where I show kind of how to use the, the gesso and the satin glazing liquid, um, I have stalled on that video only because I'm kind of like, I'm frozen with my like, how to color the actual images that I've prepped. Um, I My idea like dried up and I, I don't remember exactly what my game plan was for that. So I'm gonna have to, as soon as my inspiration comes back for that little bit, I will I will definitely be getting back into that video. And I'm hoping that it won't be too much longer before I can get that out to you guys. I know that it's so frustrating 
waiting for me to get those out there. I wish I had like not only the motivation, but like the inspiration to, to just film all day, every day. Like, and then I would just put out content constantly for you guys. I just, my brain does not work that way. It, I have to be kind of motivated to do it. And um, my brain was like, no, let's do the, let's just do the easier. Let's just do the easier videos this week. I think with the weekend whips, sometimes it's it's easier because it's there's no pressure. Like I don't have to finish anything. I don't even have to like I could just sit here and chat with you guys, and I think a lot of a lot of you would be fine with that. Um, but this does give me you know a little bit of opportunity to get something done. Okay, I'm not even sure if you guys can see what I'm doing. I know it's pretty far down there. Okay, I'm gonna have to get real close. To the screen here so excuse my head if it pops in frame all right so I just have these little couple little strands of hair I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with the wings yet that's still kind of a mystery I don't know I do know that um, so I'm just gonna try to get my highlights kind of colored in so that I know where I'm putting my colors um, I'm gonna add a little bit more detail to the background on this on this page, and I'm going to um, try to get the um, these standing stones kind of pushed back into the background a little bit. So when I was prepping for this live, I went online and found a bunch of Yana's original artworks. So this one right here is the original artwork for this page. Um, and I just kind of copied the color placement for the background. So I'm, I'm gonna do something similar to that, but you see how the stones are kind of, they're like whited out a little bit and kind of pushed to the back. So I'm gonna try to do something like that. I think that's, it's beautiful. And I just, I thought that background was so cool. Um, and then like all of her backgrounds on all of these images are just, they're just stunning. Like, look, it's just so pretty. I wish my mind worked like that. It doesn't usually, like I feel like I have to be inspired by something first to be able to get that beautiful um, result. I feel like sometimes I can, it'll, it takes me a little bit to, to get that, you know, it takes me a little bit of extra work because I have to be, I don't know, everything just kind of has to line up right for, for me to be able to create something gorgeous like that. And nine times out of 10, I'm, I'm definitely inspired by somebody else's work and that's okay. I think that's, that's part of, you know, part of our hobby, part of the artistic community in general. You know, you see something and you're like, oh, I, I could probably add that to my style or my collection, you know, my creation or whatever. Um, and as long as you're giving credit where credit's due, that's totally fine. All right, one little strand of hair left. I'll probably add some like extra strands in later on, but I want to get the wings done first before I do any of that work and the background. I need to finish that up. So yeah, I'm putting off doing this <laughs> strand of hair for no, no real reason, just that I don't want to do it right now. This is not um, giving me my dopamine. Yeah, so let's just force myself to finish this little bit and then we can move on to something that I can actually sink my teeth into. Um, let's see, what else is going on channel-wise? I mean, not a ton, really. I'm, I'm actually doing some coloring. I'm still reading as well, so that's it. I'm, I'm found a nice balance currently, which is helpful. Um, so that's always good. Um, kiddos are starting school. Well, kiddo. No, I got two. My son's college. I don't know when he starts, but not, not too much longer, I don't think. But my youngest starts uh, in about two weeks. So now I'm trying to, like, rush and get all of the things done <laughs> in these last two weeks. These last two weeks of summer are always crazy for me because I'm just like, oh, we have all the, the beginning of summer, I'm just like, we have all this time. We have so much time. We can do anything we want to do. 
and then like <laughs> the summer's almost over. I'm like, we've done nothing. Let's do everything now. Um, so that's going to be, and we're going to be a little bit busy, but I'm thankful that she doesn't really care. She's just like, whatever, whatever you want to do, mom. Uh, so the cool thing though is, well, I mean, it's kind of sad. I am, have been a, uh, I've been a cross country mom since my son was in fifth grade. So what is that? 10, 10 years old about, and he's getting ready to turn 20. So the last 10 years I've been a cross country mom and she, my youngest does not want to run. She's done. She's, she, and I'm not going to force her. I was, I was on the on just trying to decide if I was going to make her do it or not, but I didn't want to be that mom. I didn't want to force her to exercise when she, you know, clearly hates it. And I don't, I just don't want to do that. So, um, I decided to look up some things that she does like. She's very into art and we found, um, some art classes that she can get signed up for, for the fall. Um, and they're like six week courses. Uh, so I think it's going to be very cool. I'm hoping that she really loves it and that she continues to want to do it. And price wise, it's really similar to what we were paying for sports already. So it's not like it's that, you know, it's not a, like a super hit to the budget or anything. Um, so yeah, I've got high hopes for these art courses or art classes for her. Um, and that's gonna, that's gonna be starting here in a few weeks as well. School starts first and then she's, and then art classes start. So yeah, I think she's gonna like it. I don't need that right now. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really sad that I'm not going to be doing cross country. Like I said, the past 10 years I've been, the entire fall has been cross country and, uh, yeah, I'm going to miss it for sure. I did tell um, the coaches that I would come because we, we host a cross-country meet every season. So I told them that I would love to be able to come and help with that. And um, that I would probably still be showing up at practices around every once in a while to walk with the other moms because that was one of the things that I really loved my one of my closest friends is is one of the other moms on the team and so um, we would just while the kids were running we would walk kind of the around the park as well and chat and catch up on everything so that part I'll miss as well all right, I'm not sure if I'm liking the way that this is going, but we're just going to keep, we're going to keep going. I'm going to try to create like these little swirly line things with the, like what would, what watercolor might, might do. Even though I used a chalk pastel and pencil with the background, I just want to, I want that, that little added texture bit you know I like I don't want it to be I don't want it to just look solid so we'll see if that actually works or not I don't know if it will but because if you look on Yana's there's a couple places where it's like you can see little little lines have just kind of been drawn or like at left in the in the background and I want that I want that little just added bit of interest so we'll see we'll see it's gonna look crazy when I first do it but hopefully as I blend things together it won't it won't look quite as bad this one's not hitting uh, my it's not it's not creating as much joy as I was hoping like when I did it initially initially I think maybe it was because I was coloring with someone it was a little more, a little more fun, but looking at the background now and knowing like everything that I'm going to have to do to get it to do what I want it to do, um, it's a little, 
a little joy draining. Does that make sense? I wish I could just use watercolor and be done with it, but that's not, that's not how this paper works. I mean, I could, and then I would have just super crinkly, wrinkly paper, which is fine for those of you who it doesn't drive crazy, but it does end up driving me crazy eventually. So we will get this pencil background in and hopefully it'll work. Now, I don't know, one thing that I don't know is if I use my Gamsol on top of my, let's see. So I've got, a, I've got Gamsol in a water brush here and I don't know what happens if I use Gamsol on the um, chalk pastel underneath, like what that will do, if anything, it might not do anything. So I'm just gonna do it in the places where I put the pencil and you can kind of see what that, what that looks like. I don't even know if you'll be able to tell the difference. I can see a little bit of the difference here, but we'll see. All right, I might switch to a blending stump instead of my brush. I usually use this brush for like faces and flowers and leaves and things like things that are smaller um, that it's hard to get those blending stumps into. Um, here, I'm gonna hold this a little closer so you can see it. So like you can see like this part over here has been blended and then you can see like the pencil marks and stuff on that side. So let me grab, I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna have to get some more Gamsol here soon. All right, I'm just gonna grab a little bit and get, I put a little bit in this little dish and I only use a little bit because um, it doesn't take that much on the blending stumps. You don't wanna oversaturate it. I know that's not the greatest sound for some of you either, so I apologize if that's, if that's bothering you. I don't know that it really affects the chalk. All right, well, I guess I can just keep playing with that. That'd be all right. Just keep adding. I just have to keep layering and I know that I'm gonna have to keep layering and that's what's kind of keeping me <laughs> from layering because I know that I'm gonna have to keep doing it. I don't really want to keep doing it. I just want it to be done. It's like I've already colored this, I'm done now. But I'm not because I still have several things that I have to continue to work on. Just keep layering. I'm just seeing that like Dory. Just keep layering, just keep layering. <laughs> um, let's see, what else is going on? Oh, um, I, well, I don't have any plans right now <laughs> to go see either of these movies, but I wanna go see both of the Barbie movie and the Oppenheimer movies. I think they're gonna be both really good movies. Um, I think a lot of people are uh, as well. There's like, I was watching something and they were showing like projections for the, for the sales, ticket sales, like pre-sale, like pre-sales and everything. And was just like out of this, it was knocking all the other movies out of the park, both of them. And they're calling it, what are they calling it? Barbenheimer or something <laughs> on the news today. It's like, what? Come on. We can think of something else, right? Like that's just... That sounds dumb. But my, I mean, my oldest said that, you know, they wanted to go see it. They wanted to make a double feature out of it. They were like, let's go, let's just go and spend the day at the theater and see this one and then turn around, right around and see the other one. I was like, well, I mean, I guess that would be kind of cool. But um, my, my mom did ask, she was like, well, which one would you rather go see? if you had to choose. And I was like, mm, probably the Barbie movie. I think that's gonna be, I think it's gonna be good. I think, um, yeah. 
I mean, I know the Oppenheimer will be like, you know, Oscar quality performances or whatever. I'm just not, <laughs> I, 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 the subject matter is very interesting to me. I am not a big, um, like super serious drama movie kind of person. So the Barbie movie really ap appeals to me on that front, you know, like I can just, it'll be a fun movie even if it has a message or whatever. Um, but yeah, the Oppenheimer still looks interesting. I just, I just don't know. I don't know. I kind of want to create, I don't know how to do that. I like these little circly bits. I feel like if I get the background done, I can take my white neo color one of my white neo, either the one or the two i think and um make that look make like create that foggy kind of look i think i can do that who did i see do that i can't remember now there's so many so many awesome youtubers out here that i get just cool ideas from and then i don't ever remember <laughs> who they're from i feel kind of bad uh, okay, I'm going to add a little bit of black to this, just to darken this up a little bit more. This will probably be the the Yana page that I will work, have worked the longest on. Most of my other Yana pages were pretty quick. Like I had a, a chalk pastel, quick and easy chalk pastel background and like marker base and all that stuff. But so far this is just, I mean, I've still got the chalk pastel, but... The picture has all been um, pencil so far. Um, so, yeah. And this is a new pencil to me, so that's even a little bit more of a, a little bit more of a challenge because I don't really know what I'm doing with these guys. Let's see, I know, okay, so videos I'm still, I've still got in mind. I'm gonna finish up, I promise some point hopefully here soon I'm gonna finish up the um, the Amazon paper one where I talk about the um, getting it prepped for water mediums I'm also going to do another Amazon one where I kind of break down the process of using I mean I kind of talked about it in the first one but um, I'll kind of break down the process of using uh, markers, alcohol markers as a base, and then um, like my thought process when I pick out my colors and all that stuff. I still want to do like a whole process video, like start to finish page, like from concept all the way through um, and kind of chat with you guys about, you know, what my feelings are, why I'm drawn to a particular page, why I'm not, um, and then like, you know, talk about all that with you, show you how... I get my inspiration ideas, um, which a lot of it is just straight from Pinterest, but I can kind of, I think I can record my screen when I'm searching for things and just kind of talk to you about what I'm, what I'm seeing, what I'm doing, things like that. So I have ideas. Um, we'll just see how long it takes me to <laughs> implement said ideas. Um, let's see. What else? Uh, I can't believe we only have, what, like a week and a half of July left. Like, that's crazy time. That's nuts. I don't like that at all. I mean, I guess, you know, school is starting soon, so that's kind of your clue that summer is winding down. Although it'll still be hot as summer for the next two months, but okay. Let me, I'm gonna try to blend that around a little bit again. All right, well, I'm still gonna keep playing with it. It's, like I said, it's not, it's not a done thing. Oh, I did see, what did I see the other day? Somebody was showing how they used distress inks um mixed with oil pastels and they were like did this really cool like 
sweeping effect. So like you had a, an image in the center of your page and then like all of the color was just like swept towards the image, but it, there was like a halo of white around the image too. And I was just like, that looks really cool. Like I said, just so many creative, awesome people in this community to get ideas from. Uh, let's see, we're gonna just kind of add in color here and there. I don't really have any idea what I'm doing. <laughs> just, just going for it. All right, I gotta sharpen this blue and then we'll get a little bit more shading done on that. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go right over top of what I just put down. So it's probably not gonna look quite like the the original artwork because that you know that was all done with paints of some sort whether it's gouache or oil paints or whatever it was um so it's good to keep that in mind but gives me like a starting point you know like a because i before i was looking at the background i'm like i don't know what to do with that i want to make it pretty but I don't really know what to do. So Yana's artwork to the rescue. I have a whole um, board of just her images now saved on there on Pinterest so that I can um, refer back to it. I printed off several of them <laughs> so, that, so that I could have it um, handy just to look at, you know. All right, it's gonna be kind of weird and flowy and magical and yeah <laughs> we'll see all right let me try I'm just gonna try it now with that white we're gonna try the neo color too because that's what I can reach first and see if it can kind of give you that I mean it does create like a white Not really show up too much, but I could probably make it work. I don't know if you can see that or not. It kind of worked. Oh, can you see that? There we go. It shows up a little bit. That's kind of cool. I like that. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it. I think. Um, Oh, you know what? No, we'll just finish off her, her head here. So I'm going to color those little flowers and the, the horns on her head. Let me grab, uh, I'm going to grab some browns. Okay. So I'm just going to color this. I'm going to leave a little bit of edge there on that side so that it looks like the light is shining on it. Just add a little shadow. Okay, and what did we say? What did I say? The flowers next, so we'll get those flowers done, and then we'll probably call it. Um, let's do little blue flowers. And then we've got. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna have like dark blue leaves here. Um, we'll add a little bit of white to the center of the flower there, and then a few little just dots along things there. I think this little part here is like the top part of her wing on this side. So we're just going to leave that. I am going to add just a few little horns there. Hold that up so you can see it a little bit better. All right, so I think that's it. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I know um, it's a little boring, but it helps me get a little bit more done on the page, and I think it's it's going to be a pretty um, it's going to be pretty. It's going to look cool. So uh, yeah, hope you guys have a great weekend. Thanks so much for being here, and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.